So how do you achieve your organizing goals? I'm Stephanie Shalovsky of the Organizing Zone, and I wanted to talk about this. It's springtime, the perfect time to do some decluttering and organizing. It's a time of year for refreshing. And after the year we've had, we probably could use it. Uh, there's probably a lot of clutter that's collected. In addition, this week is Earth Day. So that puts a greater emphasis on what we're gonna do with all that stuff that we don't want anymore. So I have a simple plan for you to tackle the clutter uh, and then repurpose it. So first, the plan, three steps. First, set up a goal. Identify the space that you're going to declutter and organize and keep it very, very specific. So you're not gonna organize your whole home or your whole office. It's gonna be your office supply closet or your bedroom clo clothing closet. So keep it very narrowed, a very narrowed focus. Number two, create a very simple plan. Identify the few steps you need to follow in order to get the job done. Also, assign a deadline. Remember, a task without a deadline might as well not be on your to-do list because it's gonna constantly get bumped off the list by tasks that are more important. And number three, go slow and easy. Start easy, start with 30 minutes on the clock, do a quick pass through your space, looking for things where you can make really fast decisions. When the timer goes off, stop, schedule another block and repeat. So by the time you finish, you should have a pile of things that you probably don't want anymore. So let's talk about the three R's. You have recycling, you have repurposing, and you have reusing. Recycling is something we should be doing every day anyway. So we know what to do with plastics and paper, and old electronics. Repurposing, think of those maybe small jewelry boxes that you don't need anymore. They make perfect containers for paper clips or binder clips. Think of a shoe bag you don't need. Put it in your home office closet. Make it supply storage. All those pockets can serve a very good purpose. And then we have reusing. There are plenty of organizations out there that really need all the items we don't want or need any longer. Of course, there's clothing, there are cell phones, there are computers. In fact, I just bought a new computer and once everything is loaded onto the new computer and my old computer is wiped, I'm going to donate it to a nonprofit here in the city. So keep these thoughts in mind. If you need other tips, please visit my blog at theorganizingzone.com forward slash blog. See you next time.